All right, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Fail at Mega Man Zero. So we have just cleared the factory stage and gotten the flame chip. So let's go ahead and try going back to retrieving the data and see if we can kill that stupid elephant this time. There's still two more levels left for the Z-Saber, and uh, I haven't gotten any levels on the Buster yet. fire, because I believe the elephant is weak to fire. Okay, not weak to fire. Let's try lightning. Okay, elephant is weak to lightning. Good to know. Come on, you eat on a knockoff. Get fried. There we go. Now, the splitting the boss in half only works if it's an uncharged Z Saber slash that kills them. Uh, charged hits do not actually work that way. Actually managed to do well that mission. Yay! Okay, so... 
This boss is interesting um, because you have to you have to attack it from behind, but you actually want to let it destroy a bit of the resistance base because it uncovers a. If you do so, it uncovers a cyber elf. But you can't let it get too far or else it will um, or else it's a game over because they'll get into the resistance base. Now this is where you let it get through about halfway or so. Actually, I don't think I let it through. I don't think I let it get far enough into the base. Mm, no, see. If it got a little bit further in, it would have uncovered a uh, ladder that you could go down that would take you to another Cyber Elf. Alright, so now we need to go talk to Servo. I'm going all the way down. And then there's one more weapon you can get, which is the Shield Boomerang. Now the Triple Rod does have some... Uh, let's see, five levels, basically. Basically the first, uh, it's charge levels, and then also it can extend further. Um, actually, let's go level this thing up, because there's a really easy place to level it up. Um, notice how you can pogo on enemies with it. Well, there's a certain spot where we want to just pogo... Right here. Oops. Oh, looks like we made it. Looks like it did. Uh, looks like the crusher actually did make it far enough to get that cyber elf. So anyway, back to the spot. Um, right where you saw the enemy that I was pogoing on, um, that actually counts as experience towards the, the triple rod. So if you sit there and pogo on it for a little while, you'll actually level it up fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Wait, no, that's it. Here's what you have to do.
You actually have to inflict damage. So what it means by double attack? Um, what it means by double attack is that it will allow the triple rod to extend when you um, when you attack with it. Uh, as you notice, it's a little tricky to get it to actually work right. Because the timing for the second hit is, like, really precise. That's fine, we're not in the middle of a mission, so we get to... So it does save our progress, or at least it should. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's go... Now we'll go. Let's go rescue Cold War. So if you remember, this is where we got on the train. Well, the train's gone now. Actually, we want to get down there because there's something down there. tricky getting down there, unfortunately. Let me give it one more shot. If I can't get down there, then I'll just get down there on a different uh, mission. See, the thing about the game is the entire game world is actually all connected. You can actually get to any level in the game from anywhere else just by following the world map, so to speak. There we go. And basically what she means by doubling vitality is she gives you an extra or she gives you an extra health bar 
plus whatever you've already got. But she takes like three levels, I think, and each one is even more expensive than the first. These two are basically like uh, heart tanks from Mega Man X series. And oh, we want our sub tanks, but they are expensive. Of course they're expensive. So that one is complete, so we'll just go ahead and download it. Basically, and these guys act like temporary little heals. I really don't care about rank at this point, so we're going to be uh, taking elves. So, remember how fast you fall before? Well, now you don't fall quite as fast. Oh, crap. I did not mean to abort mission. Great, which means we have to go through all that again. Alright, let's try that again. This time without actually accidentally aborting mission. I now realize that Harper probably could have avoided that entire situation if I had just gone to the left starting off instead of to the right. And into the pit we go. Yeah, this game's level design is extremely unforgiving, as you can see. In case you're wondering, yes, you do need to unlock the ability to charge the um, charge the triple rod.
Hey, look, dead soldiers. Alright, so Harpuria is uh, wind or lightning elemental, so I don't have ice. Ah, uh, that's bad. Let's try this again. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen that attack. Let's try going to a different mission, see if we can get the ice uh, ice chip first. I think it might be this one. So the hidden base is actually really easy to find. Oh. All you have to do is just break the correct... Alright, those are instant death spikes, so don't touch. Generally, if something looks spiky and painful, it is probably instant death. Okay, I think this is the ice chip level. to equip fire. Alright, so the way this works is you have all of the all the resistance members. And you have to rescue all six of them uh, in order, or rather all seven of them in order to get maximum points for the mission and to be able to fight the boss. And all of these uh, Repoids that you rescue will show up at the Resistance base once you get back to it. We'll be opening that door later.
Yeah, if you get spotted by the green, um, or the green pantheons, they lock the doors. And just to try and screw with you, there are a couple of or there are a couple of Pantheon doors. We've got three more of these guys to find. By the way, the prisoners always say the same thing in the exact same order, regardless of which one you find them. Nah, it's a Pantheon. Screw it. some life energy. That's fine. I've already rescued all these soldiers, so... Good lord! Or... It'll make me rescue them all again. Sure. As you can see, like I said, the what they say is in this doesn't matter what order you rescue them in. Let's see here. No, of course you can't do it. Of course you can't uh, fire the triple rod at an angle.
Yes, they found me because these guys have ridiculous sight range. Alright, we're going to go ahead and finish out this mission and then I'm going to call it a night. have like two more rough boys to get now. Alright, maybe now I have two more. All right, now let's actually get to the boss and probably die a couple more times. should give us the ice chip after we properly fry him. There we go. See, bosses are significantly easier when you have their elemental weakness. And now that we have the ice chip, we can actually fight Harpuria and not die. Alright, so... But, that's going to be it for tonight, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we'll see you on Thursday, when we decide... When we were not going to be playing Let's Fail at... Uh, Mega Man Zero. Instead, we are going to be finishing off the X series on the PlayStation with Mega Man X6. So tune in at 9 p.m. Thursday night, and see you then. Have a great night.